Now that you're familiar with the basic parameters that go into a query, let's have a look at filters. Filters are a great way to limit your resulting datasets and retain only the rows that are useful to you. In this example, I have a pre-built query and I'll implement a filter to narrow down its scope. As you can see from the sidebar, this query has Google Analytics as a source. I am pulling last month and have selected a set of commonly used metrics, sessions, page views, call completions, and dimensions, like date, medium, and source. Let's imagine that our team is working on paid marketing. Some of this data is relevant to us, but we can also see a lot of organic or referral rows in our medium column, which we're not that interested in. I could clean up this data set by only leaving the rows that equal CPC. This can be done by going to the sidebar and implementing a filter on query level. In the filter section, I first need to define the field which I want to filter by. Note that this field does not necessarily have to be part of your query. I could keep the exact same parameters in this query, but filter out one certain campaign ID. Let's proceed by picking the field medium. I then need to define the operator I want to use and the value. As seen from the drop-down menu, there are plenty of options available to cover a variety of use cases. For our particular use case, I can go with the equals operator and simply input CPC as the value. When I apply changes, I can see that the filterer is now applied and our dataset is a lot more relevant than it was before. It is possible to chain together multiple filter conditions by clicking the plus add filter button. Note that you will also have to define whether you want to use an and or or condition. You can, for example, add another filter with the following conditions to retain only the CPC and Facebook rows in our dataset. 